Hey, it's Jess back with another Misfit Makers Besties tutorial. And this week we are doing the basket weave. Make sure you like, comment, and hit that subscribe button down below. We upload every Wednesday and Friday. Also, check out our Facebook group and our mentorship group if you want to take your business to the next level. All right, guys, so today I'm starting out with a 24 ounce plump from the Tipsy Magnolia. I will link all of my supplies down below with some discount codes. We're going in with blush from Pop of Color from CCDIY, and we want to do just a nice thin base coat. After that dries completely, we are ready to wrap our template. The adhesive sheet that I'm using is from the Glitter Guy, and I already have my template cut out. My template is from Ella B Ellie B's, and I will also link her down below. Now, once you wrap, like trying to wrap your template is a little tricky. I like to put a little bit of painter's tape on my template to kind of hold it down. And then I have my tumbler in my stand. So I'm not trying to like juggle holding it or it's not rolling across my table. And then I just peel back that backing a little bit and the exposed part I stick down. And then I know that my template is going to be even once I let go of that other side. Now, if you saw, I, ha I originally put that painter's tape on my cup. So when I removed the painter's tape, I noticed like it removed a little bit of my paint. That's okay. Really, you don't have to do a base coat when you're doing the adhesive sheets, but just know that your colors aren't going to be as bright and vibrant. So those couple little spots where the paint came up, it's not going to be a big deal. You're not going to notice. Now, if I were going in with like a super light translucent color, glitter color, then I might have touched up those few little spots, but the colors I'm using today are darker and they're very bright uh, and have really good coverage. All right, so once our template is applied, I'm just using my squeegee to squeegee out all those bubbles and creases. We want to make sure we're taking our time so our template lines up at the back, which it does, voila. And then I also cut out the same template in my vinyl choice. So my vinyl that I'm using today is from Vinyl Fun for Everyone, and I did the exact same thing. So I cut my template out of my adhesive sheet and I cut my template out of my vinyl. Now we're gonna remove the pieces where we want our vinyl to go. So. The first couple pieces, I'm like, wait, where's this piece at? It's a little hard to see, but once you start removing the pieces, it gets e the process gets easier as you go. Just take your time. This was actually really relaxing and soothing, and the more vinyl pieces I added and I, I started to see this design come together, I was obsessed. I definitely want to make another one of these. Um, I've made two so far. And I, like I said, I want to make more, but we're just going to carefully stick our vinyl piece where we removed our sticky sheet. So be careful because if you accidentally stick it down, then if you try to remove your vinyl piece, um, you can start to like tear your vinyl or stretch your vinyl and we want our vinyl to fit there perfectly. So we don't want it to stretch too much. Now, if you're a little off, like your edge doesn't, you know, your corner doesn't meet up perfectly. Um, don't forget, guys, we're adding vinyl stripes to this. So vinyl stripes are very forgiving. They can hide those little mistakes. Now, you don't have to, but you know me. You've watched my tutorials. I love adding vinyl stripes to everything. I just think it makes your tumbler look nice and crisp and clean and like, wow, that really is put together nicely. So... Um, as you can see here, like for the longer pieces, I just took the backing of a piece of vinyl to kind of stick those on so I didn't have like both sides of my vinyl pieces like all over the place because I only have two hands. <laughs> so for those longer pieces, it does get a little trickier, but just use the back of some vinyl to kind of hold those pieces in place while you're lining up the corner of your vinyl to your adhesive sheet. Hopefully that makes sense. 
Okay, so for the next couple minutes, I'm just gonna add my vinyl pieces, even these little tiny squares that you see. Yes, you you know don't lose them. You have to add everything so this piece looks like it comes together seamlessly. Now this is just like a little pin pin I'm using. I kind of switched back and forth between my tools. I use my X-Acto knife, my pin pin, um, really whatever whatever works for you. Now at the end, you will be left with another template. So honestly, you could do, you could make two tumblers out of one sheet of vinyl. So they would just be switched. So you'll see in a second, all my vinyl that's left over on my, on my vinyl sheet it would be the opposite of what we did. So does that make sense? Like your vinyl sections on this cup will be your glitter sections on your next cup and then vice versa. So they, they would be very similar, but a little different. I think these would be like really cute mother, daughter, or best friend matching cups because they're very similar, but they're not exact. Okay, so after you add all of your vinyl, this probably took me maybe... I don't know, maybe 15, 20 minutes um, if I was just sitting here adding the vinyl. It, do, it honestly doesn't take that long. Once you're done with all the vinyl, then it is time to glitter. So pick out whatever glitter colors that you want. You can kind of see with this template that there's three sections. Oh, that's one more thing, guys. When you buy her template, you not only get one template, but I think you get four. So you get like a, a two section triangle, a three, a four, and then maybe a six or something. The six, I was like, oh, there's no way. Like, <laughs> let me start with the three. But depending on what you pick um, can determine on how many glitter colors you pick. So I decided to do the three basket weave sections and the glitter colors I chose today are from Peachy Olive and they are Hopeless Romantic 357 Magnum and Little Wolf and I just thought these colors went perfect. Um, it kind of reminds me of like a fall colored cup. I know we're getting into spring but hey I just I love these colors. They look so good. Look how see you can really start to see it coming together. So when you glitter, guys, um, I like to pour my glitter on my sections and then kind of rub them in a little bit. This is a sticky adhesive sheet, so it's not like Mod Podge where you dump the glitter and it sticks. I want to make sure that that glitter is getting into that sticky adhesive sheet really, really well. So I kind of just remove a section, dump, and then kind of rub my fingers in there and then brush off all the excess and move on to the next color. You can remove all of your, like for my first color, my Hopeless Romantic, you could, oh, I'm not even starting with Hopeless Romantic. Sorry, my first color, Little Wolf, I removed one section here, but as we moved on, like once I got to my maroon color, I just went ahead and removed all my maroon color pieces and then did it all at once. One little tip, guys, it is really important that you brush off all that excess glitter before moving on to your next color or before lifting up any more sections, okay? Because if you don't, that loose glitter can get underneath your next sections and there's really no removing that. So make sure you take the time. This is just a dry makeup brush. Uh, whatever works for you. I also have like a dry horse brush that I like to use. Um, so just make sure that you you do that. But oh my gosh, she's really coming together. And doing this is really easy. I'm just following. You can see which sections you need to remove. Um, I'm just following the, you know, following my pattern. Like I said, you could do six different colors here or three, two, you know, it, it is totally up to you. So after I am done glittering all of these pretty colors, then I'm going to go in and seal my glitter. There's a couple different ways that you could seal your glitter. Uh, you could take it outside and use like Rust-Oleum Clear Spray Sealer. I've done that several times, but I know a few of us live, or a lot of us, live in those colder states or apartments, or it might be raining and you just don't have that as an option. So as an alternative, Mod Podge is your best friend. I love sealing with Mod Podge. It dries clear 
And honestly, I feel like it does a better job than the clear spray sealer. With the clear spray sealer, you have to be really careful because if you spray too much, if you're using vinyl and glitter, and that spray sealer gets on that vinyl and starts to run, it can remove the ink from your vinyl. And then there's no fixing that. So that would be a bummer if you spent all the time on it, especially on a design like this, and then you sprayed that sealer and it ran and messed up your vinyl. So with a design like this, I know Mod Podge takes a little longer because I went in and sealed every single color one by one, but then it was dry in 20 minutes. It Mod Podge dries clear and that glitter is not moving anywhere. I know it is sealed, sealed really well and I don't have to worry about my glitter shifting once I put epoxy on there. So use whichever method that you prefer, but... I don't know. I'm just a Mod Podge girl. I can't help it. I can't help it. <laughs> oh, we're on the last color here. I am just, I'm obsessed with this design. Wait until you guys see my other one. I did like a lime green, hot pink leopard print and it turned out so pretty. So while my video catches up for a minute, I want to remind everybody we want to see you guys this summer. So make sure you check out our website, misfit-makers.com for all of our upcoming conventions that we will be at. We are doing so many things this summer. TumblrCon and Midwest Tumblr Fest and Gase are just three of them. And we really, really want to see you. Birthday bash tickets just went on sale last week. They're going fast. We have limited spots. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out our site. But CCDIY is hosting our birthday bash in Joplin, Missouri. She's going to have vendors and birthday presents and special guests and all kinds of things. So make sure you go check that out and get your ticket so you can come hang out with us. Okay, as you see, this is me sealing each glitter section one by one with my Mod Podge. Again, this doesn't take very long. And once it dries in about 20 minutes, you are ready to epoxy. So I went in with my facet from CCDIY and I did about 40 mLs and that was good. I was ready to add my vinyl stripes. For whatever reason, if your tumbler is really bumpy and even after sanding it, you're just like, ah, it's not ready for decal yet, then add a second coat of epoxy and that's okay. Like you are not doing anything wrong, I promise. Um, two coats, three coats, four coats of epoxy is totally acceptable. So once your tumbler is ready for those decals, I just cut out all my vinyl striping. So I am not gonna lie to you guys, this step, it was very, very tedious and it was hurting my brain. <laughs> My width of my stripes are 0 0.07 by 12 inches, and I just cut them out in gold metallic vinyl from Vinyl Fun for Everyone. Now, where I think I went wrong was I tried doing each individual section. So where my gold met my silver, I cut it off. And then where my next section met my next section, I cut it off. So after a while, my brain was like, wait, am, do I cut it this way? Do I cut it that way? So the next one I did, I just did the entire sections. And then at the very end, I went back and trimmed off all the pieces that I didn't need. Hopefully that makes sense. So like right here, instead of cutting it right there, I would have just brought that all the way down to the end of my, my maroon color. It was so much easier and it went by so much faster. But again, whatever works for you. This probably took me about 45 minutes to do all the pinstriping. So yes, it's a little tedious. After you get all of your pinstriping on, do a layer of quick coat from CCDIY. That will be a lifesaver. That's going to prevent your vinyl from lifting or epoxy getting underneath there. I promise you guys, it, quick coat is a must have in your inventory. Look how gorgeous she is. I then went in with my final coat of 30 mLs of medium viscosity and voila, she was done. I loved this design. Hopefully you guys did too. And I hope this tutorial helped and I will see you Friday.